Hey Mech Warriors, welcome to Bad Ben's Battle Mechs. I'm Bad Ben. Today I want to show you off my uh, Battletech Fortress thing that I've been building. I don't really have a name for it uh, yet. A castle? I know I've read about the castles. Um, yeah, so this is what I have been working on since the beginning of 2024. I just want to show off a few of uh, the things it can do. It's got all these turrets. The turrets can turn. Uh, they can actually come off. Uh, they're magnetized. You can switch them out with uh, everything else. Some little, what do you call those? Chimneys coming out. This is a breakaway wall for in battle if the enemy can destroy the wall and then come in that way. Uh, for example, what do I got here? Here's uh, my fuel system with a bunch of pipes this is all 3d printed stuff that i bought uh, a lot of this stuff is 3d printed here's a lookout tower with some antenna and um like a radar dish or whatever uh yeah come over here you can see the turrets on the front there's the front door with a cool pirate symbol and this under that roof that is removable is my mick bay uh i think you can see an atlas there getting repaired at the moment there's a king crab kind of hiding behind the wall there uh, a helicopter landing pad and a little kind of antenna building or radio tower building beside it uh yeah you can see i get the the individual mech bays here's a bunch of like construction dudes taking part some guys and my mech storage that's just some styrofoam that's still sticking around here uh yeah uh what else um oh i'll show you the door here this is the door, and it can uh, open and close. I'll show you that. Right, uh, I'll show you the mechanism. I built this uh, out of like a robot toy. That was a lot of fun. I'm really proud of that part. Anyway, yeah, so uh, I thought I'd take you through uh, how I built this thing over the last four months. And, um, oh, yeah, here, these guys, they're removable. See, you can take those and you can switch them up. So you can change positions of things. There's another kind of bunker on top of a building over there that you can do the same thing with. All the turrets you can move around, too. Um yeah, so I just want to show you how I did this um, a little bit. You should, as a disclaimer, don't take this as a tutorial. I didn't do it properly. I didn't make this thing, like, according to a good, well-organized plan. I kind of just did what I wanted to do when I wanted to do it. So I did a lot of stuff out of order. Um, I painted it far earlier than I should have just because I was excited to paint it. Um, but that's kind of how I hobby. And since I'm pretty happy with the results, you know, it didn't turn out so bad. It's not, it's not the worst thing in the world. But yeah, don't think of this as too much of a tutorial on how to build something like this. Um... I don't do it properly, but you can watch me do it badly. Um, also, this is the first time I've ever made like a video about making terrain, and it's hard. I'll tell you, there were I, I did not film everything. Um, so sorry, but I did film a lot of stuff. I put it into a bunch of time lapses, and we'll start at the beginning. This is um, the raw, uh, what do you call that? A packing insert. I got this uh, Christmas 2023. Um, we got my son a computer desk for his birthday. And this is the thing uh, 
it came in. For anyone who's interested, it is 85 centimeters long by 65 centimeters wide. So it's pretty hefty. Um, and you can see I got a few uh, minis here. Um, and I was looking at, yeah, I'm showing, I, I'll tell you that. So I'm, I'm talking in May. And I, I made this video in January. And in this video, I was talking about all the stuff I was going to do and how it was going to be. And as I continued and continued, you know, built the thing, it, um, it didn't turn out quite that way. Uh, so a lot of the stuff I'm talking about and showing you is in this video was trash. So I got rid of the audio and thought I'll just voice over now that I'm done. So that's why it, like I'm pointing and, and waving at stuff and showing you what I'm going to do. And that's not what happened. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, but this, I, I'll tell you this, this, how doing something with like a, complete complex kind of insert like this was I couldn't have done this without this piece it's amazing it's solid you know um I didn't I only had to cut out pieces I didn't have to build a whole lot except for some roofs to go on the buildings um it's super lightweight it's super sturdy downside is the the styrofoam is this um you know the little balls all kind of packed together and pressed together, um, which, I mean, it's not bad. That's what all packing inserts are, are made out of. Uh, but it makes cutting not amazing. It's, it's harder to cut, and I don't have, like, hot wire tools, and I'm not going to buy that stuff uh, either. I don't like the idea of fumes and so on. Uh, I'm kind of sensitive to to smells and plus a lot of the stuff that I did cut out turned out rough but this is kind of like a, a war torn base so if if some of the the edges are, are rough and and broken I'm not especially concerned about that um uh, some of the more some of the cuts I made I um, smoothed out later I'll show you how I did that later. Um, yeah. The, the the box that you can see that's kind of inside one of the triangle things, that's one of the Alpha Strike boxes. Um, uh, buildings from Alpha Strike, I just wanted to show for scale. So these buildings, each individual one is going to be humongous. Um, and they're all going to be like bunkers and so on. And you can kind of see the street layout already. Uh, back part's going to be the mech bay in the end. And, uh, yeah, I have to do a lot of cutting first, though. I'm showing you the stuff I have to cut out um, to make uh, room for roads and stuff. And, but, oh, it's... If I were to give you some advice, it would be, um, oh, that's the robot that I ended up using for the door mechanism. <laughs> um, but if I were to give you some advice, um, it would be like plan it out better <laughs> in the beginning and don't just, well, I don't know what kind of advice. This isn't a tutorial. I, I can't plan things out well. And I didn't know what I was going to do. And I didn't know how I was going to do it. I had watched a bunch of terrain tutorials online um, and so on. But also, I just kind of, yeah, that's what ended up being the door mechanism. I just kind of went at it like gung-ho, uh, did what I wanted when I wanted without a plan of how it was all going to be laid out. But I was happy how it was all laid out in the end. So, um, yeah. Anyways, let's get into some actual buildings of just showing off that thing. Here you can see I am using a kitchen knife. Uh, I, could, I couldn't get a box cutter into here. Um, 
this is a really flexible like fish knife and i could bend it down get it the whole thing was really cramped um and so i used my sharpest knife but also as i said i wasn't really concerned about like if some of the walls look kind of broken up and rough i figured this fortress has seen a lot of wear and tear over the years and also it's my first time ever doing something like this and i didn't really care i just wanted to do it i was too excited but uh, you, the the cuts were i mean some of the cuts you can if you do it slow enough if you take your time you can get them pretty smooth uh if you have a very sharp knife uh which this is um, yeah, so that was, I, I got all the doors for the mech bay cut out there, and I knew I wanted this building, well, this area to be accessible um, for mechs and so on. I had no idea what I was going to put in this area beforehand, um, but I just cut it out because I knew I wanted it to be open. Uh, one part I didn't show, it's not on this video, is um, just beside this, there's a whole bunch of other stuff that I cut out. Um, it, yeah, kind of beside that area that I didn't, yeah, I, 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 like I said, I didn't film everything. Sorry, guys. So vacuuming it up, vacuuming. And here, as you can see, is the first, I don't want to call it a mistake because the whole thing turned out great. But you shouldn't paint it at this point. Um, I did. My four-year-old was so excited. He wanted to get in there and uh, paint it up. Um, and so we did. We just, you know, we started. Uh, I let him help. Uh, and, and that was fine. Uh, I also forgot that I didn't make a front entrance. So before I painted, I actually luckily... Uh, cut out my front entrance and if you're wondering what i painted it with uh, i use this stuff in german it's called fleece and fix i don't know what you call it in english it's not tile grout it's tile grout filler it comes in a tube it's liquid and essentially it's just like acrylic paint with stuff in it to make it kind of have the texture of tile grout it's pretty safe to work with um the only thing is if it once it's dry you don't want to sand it at all i didn't sand it at all um so yeah more painting um actually we decided to go with these like kind of uh, i don't know what you call that we didn't use paint brushes we just kind of like spackled it on and i'll say that actually worked really well but until you get a whole bunch of little dry pieces everywhere, um, and then it's impossible to get anything smooth. Um, it goes on better. It has no brush lines, but in the end, I brushed. Uh, I, I did use a brush for most of the stuff. And here you can see most of the thing is pretty much finished, painted up. And and that was a bad idea because I then realized, wait a second, I need to cut out more stuff. Uh, in this, I needed to cut out so much more stuff, but who cares? Um, here you can see I'm cutting off the just a bit of the side of this building, uh, measuring properly. That's one thing I did do all right. I'm, I did measure it well, um, except not this part. <laughs> I didn't measure this well uh, because, uh, and you'll see why I cut it off. And I cut it off pretty roughly. You should take way smaller slices if you want it to not be like a super rough edge when, when it's done. Um, and this, this edge I did fix. And so I wanted to build a roof onto it. I wanted to put a roof on all these little buildings. Um, and so I did. Uh, trace it from the bottom do, 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 do. and that worked out well except that I realized once the the roof was on you'll see in a second 
uh, I needed to cut more. Like, uh, yeah, you see, I'm measuring more because it didn't. It, the roof it, it didn't have like that bunker slot in it. And cutting out after I've put this tile grout stuff that hardens like like stone, honestly. Cutting that with a kitchen knife, it dulled my kitchen knife in a moment. Don't worry about the kitchen knife. I, I know how to, I have a sharpener and I can sharpen knives. Uh, that was no problem. But it, yeah, it, uh, it wasn't a good idea to paint at that point. What can I say? Uh, it hindered me more than I thought it would. I just wanted to do it because I, I, I honestly don't know why anymore. I don't know why I painted it so early. I can't really say. Is it like I got the tile ground and was like, all right, I'm going to do it uh, before all the structure is done, which is a bad idea. So here is, that's what the roof's going to look like. Uh, it gives that little bunker slot where dudes can shoot out of. Um, yeah. And now moving on to the next buildings, cutting out bunker slot on this one. I mean, painting it wasn't a great idea, but it's not like it, it hindered it too much. I, I uh, obviously had to repaint a bunch of stuff that I cut and yeah, like I said, it dulled the knife, but whatever. Do it how you want to. Do it. If I hadn't just, like, done whatever I wanted when I wanted, this thing would have never gotten done. Uh, my brain just doesn't allow me to do the proper thing in the proper order. Anyway, so here I am cutting out um, this part. Do 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 Bunker slot. I didn't make it go all the way around. Just... Uh, you know, a little opening in this building. And yeah, it's really rough. You can't really see how rough it is uh, from this angle, but it is. I need to make a roof, but I didn't have a piece that was big enough, so I had to like glue a couple together. And so I did that, and then I moved on to another roof. Sorry, the camera is like not showing what I'm doing. Uh, I think I fixed it here. So this building, I wanted to, this building's roof was tricky and I made a little mistake, but it wasn't a big deal. So I'm just kind of like eyeing it. Um, and you can see in a second that I didn't eye it super well because there's a gap uh, missing right there. But as you can see, I could just fill that with a little piece of styrofoam when I get all that tile grout stuff on top. So I'm in marks where, you know, uh, the walls were and then used a ruler just to connect them and slice it. Check it again and use the ruler, make a line here to where I need to cut it. And I did that. And it fit actually really well. I was really happy and it was solid. And there's the little piece goes in. And once it's all painted, you can't notice a thing. So there's the piece. That's the um, two pieces I put together. So I'm just tracing it from the bottom here. Uh, and I, I, you can see, I already got a different knife. This one, I had to sharpen it up um, and yeah, measure and mark out before you cut. <laughs> and you can see I'm taking like way more time. I'm slicing way more slowly, like taking five or six cuts just to get through there instead of just <laughs> right through. Um, that makes it way, way smoother. It's a much better edge if you do it like that. So I would suggest doing it like that. Uh, or you know, get one of these hot knife things if you want to do it like that. Just rounding out the corner. This was a little too sharp. And placing it on. 
Yeah, and then I get right to painting these things, which I shouldn't have done. I should have attached everything and painted them then later. Oh, yeah, no, I forgot uh, this roof. Made a little roof for that building, too. Same deal. That was easy. And what I should have, I didn't at this point. See, at this point, I thought, okay, that, that building won't be a bunker. And so I didn't cut out a bunker slot, and I ended up actually later on cutting out a bunker slot on that building. And that was a big pain in the ass. But I didn't know. I didn't know what I was doing. Um, uh, I just wanted to do it, and that's that's fine if, if you do it like that. Um, so, yeah, there's all the roofs on... And I did, I attached them with like skewers. I stuck skewers with glue into them, into the walls um, in the end. But I did actually, actually this wasn't a bad idea. I painted these up before I put them on. I, I don't know. Um, you can see I have, so you just take a bunch of this stuff and water it down a little and it goes on just like acrylic paint. It's really good and the 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 texture of it afterwards is uh like cement, like 100% like cement. It was it was really amazing. Um they definitely did need uh everything needed definitely more than one coat. It wasn't thick enough. If you put it on really thick, then yeah, you could maybe get away with one coat, but I thought it was easier just to water it down a little bit and paint on several coats. Just like that. Do 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 all the little pieces, even the little in-between piece. Um Yeah. The other roof. And I didn't, I, this stuff is, um, it's just liquid. Uh, you, you know, you could get a powder tile grout, but this isn't actually tile grout. It's only actually for filling in holes that you have. Like, so if you've drilled something to, you know, where your old toothpaste holder was and there's a hole there, then you squeeze this stuff in and it dries. Um, but it is, it's acrylic based is what it is and paints on beautifully if you just water it down a little bit uh, i was really happy with it and after all this after i painted all of this stuff up um i definitely covered it in mod podge to seal it so that it wouldn't get dusty um in the air because you really don't want this <clears throat> dust from this stuff um you don't want to breathe that stuff in uh, it's it's not healthy. So just getting all the stuff done, and yeah, this is only the first coat, and then I let it dry, and it it's an, it takes uh takes a good while to dry, several hours. Um, I usually just left it overnight. Here's the breakaway piece of the wall. This was actually I painted this, um. And then it didn't fit exactly, but in the end, I got it to fit. It was no problem. It just needed a little, you know, adjusting because the, it fit like exactly before and you couldn't even see the cracks. Now you can see the cracks, but I really don't care about that. Anyways, so um, what am I doing now? More painting. Uh, paint, paint, paint. Ah, right. I smoothed out those really rough edges. You can see, actually, I used pieces of paper. And I just glued the paper along the um, really rough parts. And I actually used old Battletech record sheets. Um, and just lay them over. I, I traced them. Lay a piece of paper out, trace the, the shape, cut it out, glue it on, and it just smooths out. I did some on the ground here, too, um, where I'd cut other walls out, and it had gotten very rough. 
Uh, and here I'm just touching up little places. I This stuff needs like two coats and touch-ups afterwards for sure. So yeah, actually, that's that's an easy way to smooth out the rough edges if you can glue a piece of paper on top, you know. And you can't see the paper. And there's all the roofs on. I glued them on without filming it. And I went right into painting on the roads. And that was um, uh, pretty easy. Just tape off. Care the, the hardest part of this definitely is taping, you know, uh, the roads the way you want them to be accurately and then not touching any of the buildings with the paint because it's you know it's a tight space uh it was difficult i'm using anthracite gray uh i like the color nice and dark contrasted well with the light gray of the building it kind of looks black here it it uh it dries a little bit lighter so i'm just having a look seeing everything is all right um, little touch-ups, make sure to get it painted well. And then my four-year-old, uh, he really wanted, he wanted to paint this so badly. He was so excited. So I let him help, which means hold on to the paintbrush <laughs> as you, as you do it yourself. But he did a good job. You know, he didn't, he didn't throw the paintbrush around this was this was great uh doing stuff crafty stuff like this with your kids it, it's a lot of fun they think they feel involved um my 12 year old was kind of over it <laughs> pretty quickly he 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 had other things to do uh but he did help he actually he he helped quite a bit um and it was a lot of fun you know i'm actually amazed that I managed to do this with my four-year-old and not get a bunch of blotches everywhere of, you know, gray anthracite gray all over the buildings and so on. The trick is tape it well. Tape the sides of your buildings too. I, I sorry, I keep talking like this is a I don't like this is a tutorial, you know, telling me how to do it. And I guess in a way it sorta is, but like I'm under no impression that I did this well and that you ought to do this <laughs> the same way or anything like that. Anyway, so yeah, paint that up with my four-year-old and there's all the rest of the streets done. Um, and here is Mod Podge. Mod Podge is amazing. Um, I love the stuff. It just seals. It gives the the tile grout stuff. It feels like cement. It feels really rough. It's not really nice to touch. And the more you touch it, you know you're gonna you're gonna knock pieces off, or you might get some dust in the air. So, uh, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> we must <coughs> mod podge this thing to hell over. The whole thing. My 12 year old came and helped me do a lot of this stuff. And yeah, this is coming to the end of this video. This part, sorry, I didn't do it all in one video. Um, it's probably going to be about three parts, hopefully. Um, and in between this video and the next video uh, is. Um, when I did all of the weathering, actually, and unfortunately, I didn't film any of that because, because you know, I don't know, I didn't want to. Um, but either way, mod podge it all up. When you see it again, it'll all be weathered. I, we didn't do anything like crazy. We just made washes, and like a, a green wash and a black wash, splashed it on all thing, kinds of things, did a bunch of streaking, uh, and that's how we weathered the thing. Anyway, uh, this is going to be the end of this video. Um, if you want to see the next part, then um, subscribe and you'll get to see it. Uh, if you like this, give it a like. That would be really awesome. But most importantly, if you liked it, give me a comment. I love comments. I love to hear 
what people have to say. Um, yeah, so hope to see you next time in the next video. Uh, bye bye. Thanks for watching.